In this example, we want to find the limit of 1 over x squared as x approaches 0. Okay. So notice that we have a uh, vertical asymptote okay, at x equals to 0. Okay. All right. So to get a better understanding of this, let's uh, again, let's build a table of values. In one table, we're going to let x approach 0 from the left side. In the other table, we're going to let x approach 0 from the right side. Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's do that here. So I'm going to have the x values and then the corresponding y values. Okay. Okay. So we want to pick, again, we want to pick x values that are getting arbitrarily close to 0. So we have point zero 0.01. Point, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, let's let x approach 0 from the left side. So negative 0 0.01, negative 0 0.001, and then minus negative 0 0.001, and then minus negative 0 0.001. Okay. So these values are approaching 0 from the left side. Okay. So plugging these in to the function, okay, we're going to, so basically we're taking the uh, we're going to square these and then take the reciprocal. Okay, so we're going to get 10,000 for the first one. Uh, the next one we get 1e to the 6, so that is just 1 with 6 zeros, and then we get 1e to the uh, 1e8. Okay, so clearly, okay, these are, right, uh, as x is approaching 0 from the left, these are getting bigger and bigger, so they're approaching infinity. And that's what you see over here, okay? So as x approaches 0, from the left side, the y values are getting, right, are, are going to infinity. So this is giving us, so these, so basically this is what's we, what we call unbounded, okay? The limit is not approaching a finite value. It's approaching infinity, okay? So let's build another table, letting x approach 0 from the right side. So in this case, we can just go ahead and take the positive values here. So again, letting x approach zero from the right side, um, we want to we want these values to get arbitrarily close to zero. Okay, so I'm going to get the same values. Okay, same result since we're squaring, right? Okay, so. That's 1e to the 6, or 1e to 6, okay? So again, that's just 1 with 6 zeros, and then 1e8 is just 1 with 8 zeros. So as x is approaching 0 from the right side, these are getting bigger, okay? These are going to infinity, okay? All right. And that's, again, that's clearly what's happening here. So as x approaches 0 from the right side, the y values are getting bigger and bigger. Okay, so it's unbounded in both directions, okay, as x approaches 0. So this is another way uh, that the limit uh, may fail to exist, okay. So in both cases here, in both, in both as x approaches 0 from both sides, the limit is approaching infinity, okay. So the limit, so for this one we have the limit. As x approaches 0 from the left of our function, it's going to infinity. And from here, the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side of our function is approaching infinity. So, so this limit is not approaching a finite value. It's approaching, right? So it's uh, approaching infinity. So therefore, this limit uh, doesn't exist. Okay. So we can just say that the limit. Uh, in this case, we can say that the overall limit is going to approach infinity. Okay.
So we can also, so this is, it doesn't exist, okay? Because the, in order for the limit to exist, uh, it has to approach a finite value, okay? All right, and this is, so this is not, right, this is not finite. Okay.